So President Trump uh, has talked a lot about how he avoided being drafted into the Vietnam War. In fact, his one of his statements during the campaign, well, no, actually, no, prior to the campaign that we found out during the campaign is that he said his own personal Vietnam was not going to Vietnam, but avoiding VD. Oh, oh wonderful. Now, I actually may be getting ahead of myself uh, because, of course, Trump claims that yeah, he cares about the troops and that he supports the troops. And look, he even went to go visit troops in Iraq today. It's the first time uh, in his, you know, first year uh, that he has actually visited troops in a combat zone. Wow, uh, amazing, right? You might think, well, he really, really cares about troops, right? Um, but in, the, in reality, he did everything he could to avoid becoming a soldier. Uh, and according to some new documents... Uh, or I'm sorry, to, uh, according to a new article in the New York Times that cites two people, um, Trump and his dad, well, figured out a way to have him avoid Vietnam. So look, that's the most convoluted intro I, I, I can do to the story. So let's just, uh, let's just go forward into this. Uh, now, look, again, during the campaign, he said he received a very, very strong letter from one of his doctors. Now, he couldn't remember the doctor's name, um, but he presented that letter to draft officials, and he was able to get out of the draft. Now, before, he had uh, education deferments, and that's fine. And then the last one is a medical deferment. Now, that letter contained a diagnosis of a debilitating foot condition that disqualified him from service. That foot condition would be uh, referred to as Bone spurs. Bone spurs in his foot. Now, he was asked during the campaign, which foot was it? Which foot is has the bone spurs? I don't know. It could be this one. It could be both. I, I don't know. So now people were a little confused. They're like, now wait a minute here. How would you not know? Well, now we have the answer to that. It turns out that this whole thing may have just been made up all along. Now, this is according to the New York Times article. The daughters of the late Dr. Dar uh, Larry Bronstein, a one-time podiatrist based in Queens, have told the publication that their father helped President Donald Trump escape getting drafted during the Vietnam War by fabricating his bone spurs. Now, this is 56-year-old Dr. Eliza Bronstein uh, tells the Times that her late father implied that Trump did not suffer from the debilitating foot ailment and that he offered the bogus diagnosis as a favor to, to uh, Fred Trump. Eliza says, quote, I know it was a favor. Now, her account was also uh, corroborated by his sister, Sharon Kessel. Now, wait, so now why would he do this? Why would he say, okay, look, I'm, I'm going to write this note for your son, Fred, that says he's got bone spurs so he won't be drafted into Vietnam. Why would he do that? No. Apparently, it's because it was a favor. Um, okay, she says, she explains, what he got access in return for this was access to Fred Trump. If there's anything wrong in the building, my dad would call and Trump would take care of it immediately. That was the small favor he got. So, help my son stay out of Vietnam and I will immediately come and fix anything in your building. Aren't landlords supposed to do that to begin with? Isn't that the way that they're supposed to be? That doesn't seem like much of a favor. But then again, Trump, uh, maybe, you know, like his son, bit of a slumlord and not really interested in being responsive to their tenants. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, now the daughters also believe their father was assisted by a man named Dr. Manny Weinstein a podiatrist who first moved into a Trump-owned apartment in the same year that the future president got his exemption from the military draft. Weird. Both happen to be tenants of Mr. Trump. Ah, oh, it can't be a coincidence, right? Now, the daughters are not 100% certain, of course, that uh, Weinstein, who passed away in 1995, helped her father, but they said that their father often mentioned him when discussing the Trump deferment scheme. Fascinating. I mean, shocker, who could have known? A serial liar, liar bungler would be lying about his bone spurs. 
Who knew? Oh, right. Everybody. At least, look, I've been saying that, no, bone spurs. There's no way he's got bone spurs. It's a lie. And guess what? Now here we have a New York Times article and two corroborating witnesses that are like, yeah, we're pretty sure that this is a lie. Absolutely. Now, look, we also knew that Fred Trump, according to other stories, another article by the New York Times, where Fred did everything he could to help his idiot bungling son. He bailed him out numerous times, gave him loads and loads of money. Uh, and so, you know, it helped out his casinos, made sure he didn't go bankrupt that many times at least. Because he went bankrupt at least six times, probably more uh, if his dad hadn't helped him out. And he still tried to cheat his dad at the end, which is really, really sad. And now we know that one of the ways that he helped out Donald was getting a doctor to lie in order to keep that idiot son from going to war. <laughs> Luckily, he knew because, you know, he, he knew Donald Trump was so stupid that he would end up getting killed. Keep him out of the war, guys. That boy is dumber than a box of rocks. I will do whatever. You got something, you got a pipe you need fixing? I'm there. Just please, please write that note. <laughs> so again, is this really a surprise? No. Look, Donald Trump has never done anything for himself, despite saying otherwise, right? I mean, he claims consistently, constantly, no, no, everything I did, I built myself. No, you didn't. We know that's a lie. We know that's bullshit, right? No, he has never actually succeeded at anything based on his own merit. He's not that smart. He's just not that smart. He's just not that good of a businessman. And if he hadn't have been born into money, he would be the guy sleeping on your couch. It was always daddy's name, daddy's money, which is the most important thing, by the way, daddy's money. So, hey, MAGA guys, especially for you veterans out there, right? Are you still really supporting this guy? Knowing what we know now? Look, he got out of the wars that he that they sent you to fight. So while you got uh, sent off to fight for him, what was he doing? Well, as I mentioned before, he's too busy fighting VD by sleeping with so many models and supermodels. <laughs> he's never, look, he's never going to fight for you, right? Just the fact that he went to Iraq today, do, do you now think he's on your side? No, of course he's not. PR, photo op, He's in big trouble thanks to the Trump shutdown, which shut down the government, right? Which had a partial shutdown anyway. He's never going to be on your side, never was on your side. He's a serial liar, and that is at least the one thing he is good at, lying. Don't take my word for it, man. Look at his history. Look how he treats people. Look at what he does. He's not a smart person, and he's definitely not on your side. You've got to look at the truth. And when you do, you, you're going to have to admit that Cadet Bone Spurs over here is not one of you. He's not fighting for you. He is the elite and will never be on anyone's side but his own. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization... And the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.